August 27, 2014, the Brown family from the reality show Sister Wives won the battle they had been fighting against Utah's polygamy law. Judge Clark Woodhoff declared laws that criminalize polygamy are unconstitutional. Unfortunately, this victory only legalizes polygamous cohabitation in the state of Utah, and polygamy is still illegal in all 50 states currently. Uh, in ancient times, uh, Babylonian times, in 1800 BC, polygamy was very common. It was also referenced in the Bible by four Gentile kings who had multiple wives. The Old Testament also recognizes polygamy and had it legal until the 11th century when it was abolished by leaders who sought to ease tension with their Christian neighbors. The Quran states, Marry women of your choice, two or three or four, but if you fear that, feel that you should not be able to deal justly with them, then only one. History, uh, polygamy also presents in Mormonism. The Mormon prophet Joseph Smith uh, adds polygamy to the Mormon doctrine in 1843 to relive the sacred years of the Bible by practicing plural or celestial marriage. In 1852, LDS leader Brigham Young declared the LDS church's advocacy for polygamy as well. In 1862, the Morale Act was passed, which outlawed marriage between more than one man and one woman. Because that law was not being passed, in 1882, the Edmonds Act was also uh, passed, which classified polygamy as a felony and threatened a five-year sentence and $500 fine to anyone that broke the law. In 1890, the Mormon Manifesto, released by LDS officials, advised members against polygamy, and in 1904, the Mormon Church officially prohibited polygamy. In more recent times, the 1953 Short Creek Raid uh, sent 122 polygamous men to jail and forced the women to relocate to Phoenix. Children were placed in state custody and polygamists started teaching their children that the government is the enemy. Unfortunately, a similar event occurred in 2008 when the Texas Raid uh, misplaced 416 children from their homes and was a reminder of the past. Polygamy bans are unconstitutional. Nadine Strassen was the former president of the American Civil Liberties Union and current professor at New York Law School, states, we have defended the right for individuals to engage in polygamy. We defend the freedom of choice for mature, consenting individuals. Judge Clark Woodhoffs is the United States District Court Judge for the District of Utah. He presided over the Brown family's lawsuit against Utah's polygamy law and stated in his ruling, Liberty presumes an autonomy of self that includes freedom of thought, belief, expression, and certain intimate conduct. Polygamous lifestyles also benefit American families. Deborah Taj Anapal, PhD, is a clinical psychologist and relationship coach. She is also the author of several books. She states, group marriage can help parents and children alike adapt to an ever more complex and quickly changing world. Trying to keep up can be stressful, if not impossible, for a single person or a couple. But a small group of loving and well-coordinated partners can divide up tasks that would overwhelm one or two people. Another proponent, Elizabeth A. Chef, PhD, who is the author of The Polygamous Next Door, Inside of Multiple Partner Relationships and Families, um, argues poly polyamorous people put a lot of emphasis on communication as a way to build intimacy, explore boundaries, negotiate agreements, and share feelings. Furthermore, American polygamists are currently living in fear. Janelle Brown is one of Cody Brown's sister wives and is a current polygamist. She states, we literally live day to day without knowing whether our family will be destroyed by a decision of some prosecutor in Utah to charge us. Uh, another proponent, Joe Darger, is the co-author of Love Times 3, Our Story of a Polygamous Marriage. He reminds Americans that there is a very real fear in being criminalized for his religious practices. He states, this is a third degree felony. This is serious prison time. My grandfathers were imprisoned, so that was a real impact that we felt. Opponents claim polygamy, polygamy utilizes brainwashing tactics. Uh, Kristen Decker is one opponent. She's the founder and president of the Sound Choices Coalition, which is a human rights organization concerned with children of plural families. She's also the author of 50 Years of Polygamy and is a former polygamist. She 
argues, must be live, polygamy must be lived on this earth so that families can attain the celestial kingdom and men may become gods of their own worlds. Once you've been taught these edicts, if you denied the truth, you'd be damned for eternity without your family, having no hope for redemption. However, claims like these are more often the exception than the rule. Lori Beeman, PhD, uh, is the Canada Research Chair in Contextualization of Religion in a Diverse Canada at the University of Ottawa. She is also the author of several books in religious autonomy. She reminds Americans that Americans should assume that members of religious groups choose to be or remain involved in religious groups and are not likely brainwashed. Opponents also claim that women in polygamous families are being neglected. Marcia Hamilton is the chair of public law at the Benjamin N. Cardozo School of Law and is the author of several books. She states, the men control the finances and the women are commodities, carrying out the sexual goals of the men. There can be no gender equality in this scenario. However, Hamilton fails to acknowledge that her depiction of the polygamous family is likely attributed to the social stigma surrounding plural lifestyles. Many polygamous men and women report being happy with their lifestyle choice. Uh, one example of this is Rose Crawley, who is a proponent and the reality star of Polygamy USA. She is a polygamist and states, This is where I choose to be. I am truly happy with this lifestyle. I truly be unhappy in something different. I truly would. Living a monogamous lifestyle simply would not be full enough for me. In conclusion, polygamy should be legal in the United States. It's an ancient practice that dates back to Babylonian times and is referenced in the world's most sacred religious scriptures. Polygamy bans are unconstitutional, American families can benefit from adopting polygamous lifestyles, and polygamists in America are living in fear. This country is built on life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and polygamists should be granted these freedoms to pursue their rights.